Today, I'm going to show you my shelf. Hi, I'm Bush Delisai, a retired professor of English and creative writing in UP. We are in my uh, workplace in Quezon City, and this is where I write. So, at the uh, personal library, dito sa shelf na to, ang lahat ng mga librong sinulat ko. Dito yung mga librong uh, inedit ko o kasama ako sa, pag, sa pagsusulat. Ito yung row ng mga shelf ng mga libro na talagang gusto kong basahin, no? masarap basahin. Itong, itong shelf naman na ito, libro ng mga pirmado. I have other books of course in these shelves, yung antiquarian books. Dito naman sa aking aparador ay mga collection ng mga manuskrito at yung mga fountain pens ko. Uh, this is uh, my Underwood typewriter from about maybe about 1923. My stapler from the 1930s. Well, so here we are. This is my my workplace, my refuge. Well, uh, sa ngayon, mga binabasa ko ay uh, halo-halo ng bago at lumang libro. Sa ngayon, itong bagong nobela ni uh, Sarge Lacuesta, itong, itong Joy, I know Sarge and he's a very good writer. Ito naman, luma na ito, ito yung Manila by Manila ni Nick Joaquin. Uh, ginagamit ko ito sapagkat may maganda siyang mga uh, eksena rito mula sa panahon ng, ng gera dito sa Maynila. Ito ay isang uh, scrapbook ng mga malita, mga litrato, ng isang samahan ng mga manunulat na ang pangalan niya ay Aklatang Balagtas. So it's, it's very interesting for me to look at what writers were doing uh, in the 1920s, uh, for example. I have a couple of other books that I'm reading, but they're not, they're, they're not here. Ang pinaka-interest ko talaga ay history and fiction, of course, because I'm... I'm a fiction writer, pero sa totoo lang mas interesado ako sa, sa non-fiction. But uh, I, I do, of course, have a, a, a fairly substantial library of, of Philippine uh, literature from the early 1900s uh, to the present. Karamihan sa English, pero marami rin akong material sa Filipino. Noong bata ako ay hindi naman kami mayaman. Kung makapunta ako doon, pag-aaral ako ng, ng matino, uundad ang buhay namin. So I was sent to this rich kid's school and of course, because I found myself alone, I became a bookworm. Naging takbuhan ko yung library namin. At doon ko binasa ang lahat ng mababasa ko. I always wanted to see what, what other parts of the world looked like and how people lived there. Kaya naging interesado ko sa pagbabasa. Bako ako naging manunulat, naging mambabasa muna ako. Mas bagong edition na ito, pero ito yung The Forest ni William Pomeroy. I think mga 19, early 1960s ito unang lumabas. And, and this is an account of an American former GI soldier who joined the, uh, the Hukbalahap. And, and it's, it's very literally written. When, when people ask me, are there books that changed your life? Uh, this, is, this is that book for me. Kasi dito ko nakita yung resistance ng mga tao against injustice in, in Philippine society at, the, at that time. In other words, dito ko namulat. I blame this book kung bakit ako naging aktivista. May isang author na nagsulat ng mga libro, I identify with on the fantasy level. Ini-imagine ko yung buhay niya full of adventure and challenge. Si Paul, Paul Proust de la Gironière. Ito yung isa sa mga first edition ng libro niya uh, in French. Ito yung Adventures of a, of a Frenchman in the Philippines. It awakened my, my passion for adventure and travel kahit na vicariously lang. Lagi ko naiisip yung panahon na wala pang mga eroplano, na sumasakay lamang ang mga tao sa vapor. This is why a lot of my books, especially my collection of antiquarian books, are about travel and global exploration, especially in the, in the 1700s. Well, uh, okay, so this is probably more uh, indicative 
or representative than the actual books themselves. But I would bring, uh, among other things, a book of poetry. And this is one of my favorite poets, si Konstantin Kavafi. On poetry, kasi, it, it composes you and reminds you that even in the worst of circumstances, you can find, you can find beauty and order. I will also bring, since I collect fountain pens, I will bring this book, Fountain Pens of the World. I will bring this book to remind myself of, not just of my collection, but of how ingenious and how artistic the, the, the human imagination and human sense of design can get. Because I like writing and manuscripts and so on, I will probably bring this book, The Magic of Handwriting, which, which also shows you examples of, of how people have written over the centuries. You see, the wonderful thing about history books is that they remind you of a past that happened. Alam mo na, kahit nangyari na yon, magsusurvive pa rin siya. And so this, this assures me that whatever writing today, when I'm gone, that will survive in one form or another. Whether that could be a letter that I write or the books that I that I publish. And, and of course, handwriting is a very personal thing. Maybe I, I will bring a book like this. this uh, it's, it's a book from 1759, Mariner's Compass Rectified. This was, this was what ship captains used to navigate the world. And a book like this, if I have all the time on that island, uh, might even if I under begin to understand it, might even help me get off the island. And finally, maybe immodestly, uh, I will bring one of my books to maybe remind myself that I could write and maybe edit it all over again in my mind, since I have all the time and I will spot all the problems and mistakes that I made as a writer over the years. And I will probably bring a Bible, but uh, it's downstairs right now and it's huge, but, but I think that that will help a lot. It's hard to say kasi inisip ko yan, pero, well, hindi ako iyakin pagdating sa pagbabasa siguro. Ang mga libro na nakapag-move sa akin ay books of adventure, even books of science, you know, imagining life on Mars or the moon. Mga libro ni Edgar Rice Burroughs, yung Martian series niya. Oh, now that's, uh, that's an interesting thought. Well, it, it would be, it would be a uh, Paul de la Gironière. Uh, etong tao na sinusubaybayan ko, pinuntahan ko pa yung kung ano man ang natira doon sa estado niya sa halahala. -hala. I would ask him so many things. Ano? What, what did you find here that you really wanted? This is a book of English essays from, from 1551. And it has a very long title, as you can see. An abridgment of the notable works of Polydore Virgil containing the diverse and, and etc. Uh, published in 1551 in, in, in London. It, it's a book about the, the church, about history. The most amazing thing about this book is, is where I found it. I found this of all places in, in Cubao. It's so olx.ph. I... Uh, Parating pa lang yung mga yon libro sila ng Philippine history, isa pang libro na uh, An Ohio Woman in the Philippines. Uh, th these are all books from the period of the American occupation ng mga 1900, pero parating pa lang sila dito sa Pilipinas. Well, uh, kung dumating na sa ganyan, palagay ko itong librong ito, uh, o... Obras y Relaciones ni Antonio Perez. This is a book from uh, 1631, and it's a first edition published in Geneva. This is a book in Spanish by Antonio Perez, who was the secretary of uh, Philip II, in Felipe Natan, sa Filipinas. Why will I save this book? Uh, simply because it's, it's the most valuable among all my books here. I won't give you a price, but if I sell this tomorrow on the market, 
I can probably buy all of these other books here again. Kaya uh, ito na lang yung pambawi ko. The magic of holding something in your hands that's about you know 400 years old and is still usable. And and being an author myself, uh, syempre mga ngarap ka na yung mga sarili mong trabaho ay mag-survive ng ganun katagal. I buy these books to save them, but also to, to celebrate the, the fact of their survival into another century. If you're a young writer and you want to go on in a life of fiction, then these are some of the books that I will... Isang classic ito, Nine Stories ni J.D. Salinger, uh, one of my favorite writers whose writing style can be, can be very subtle uh, and very quiet, but powerful in its, in its own way. Eto, wala na siyang original cover, but this is the book Museums and Women by another of my favorite short story writers, uh, John Updike. From Updike, you will learn how to write very clear and startling, sparkling prose. A Grendel by John Gardner is a fantastic tour de force of, of writing because his style will move in terms of registers from very contemporary to, well, ancient. Pala a retelling ng yung Beowulf na epic from the point of view of the monster. And this is one of my favorite novels, uh, Ironweed by William Kennedy, which really just follows the fortunes of a person down on his luck, but written again with great empathy, with a lot of, of emotional power. And of course, uh, you have to read our Filipino authors. Uh, this is a book of Manuel Arguilla stories that I edited uh, some years ago. Uh, I would strongly recommend this. Uh, you read Arguilla. My other favorite Filipino authors would be Bienvenido Santos and Gregorio Brillantes. You know, to write well, you read well. You know, it's not one of those intuitive things, uh, I mean, that, that come out of, of intuitive genius. You really need to read to know how language works and you need to live. You know, you need to acquire social experience for your writing to, to mature, your insight to mature. Uh, because writing, again, is much more than language. It's really about living. Great literature, trash, you read everything so that you can develop your sense of, of good and bad. And then you begin to write. You, you begin by imitating your favorite authors. And, and don't worry because you will hit your own stride uh, at some point. Uh, matututo ka rin, wag kang magmadali, uh, pero maging mapagmatyag. You observe things around you that should interest writers. You look at a room and ask yourself, ano ba yung kwento dito? What can I say about this that other people have not said or seen yet? And that's how you begin to become a writer. These books are always for sharing. I, I, I see myself as just a caretaker for these books, you know, for the readers of the future. Kaya, oh, whenever I have this opportunity to show them what, a, what an old writer has accumulated over the years, over the decades, then, then I'm, I'm very happy because maybe it will spark somebody else's desire to read and to write. So kayo, na meron din kayong mga collection ng babasahin, kahit comics pa yan, huwag kayong mahiya na i-share ito sa ibang tao. Ako, ganito yung mga libro ko kasi matanda na ako eh. Pero nung bata ako, puno rin yung mga shelves ko ng mga librong for young people. Whatever excites you, whatever interests you, that will be appropriate. That will be good. Ang importante ay na-exercise yung imahinasyon mo sa pagbabasa. Kaya hindi pa tandaan yan, hindi pa mahalan ng libro, hindi pa bonggahan ng author. Ang importante, nag enjoy ka magbasa. So, uh, maraming salamat at uh, I, I wish you all the best reading in the world. Bye-bye.